welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the latest from Nina Rishi. It is their new Nina Saleo. So I'm going to be letting you know what this smells like and how it differs to the original Nina. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I review all the new releases and I will leave the links to where I've reviewed the other recent releases over the past few years from Nina Rishi. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. And I also have my blog which is full of perfume range reviews and I have an article that goes through every single version of Nina by Nina Rishi. There's been a lot and I've included in there links to where you can buy um, everything that's still available including ones that are discontinued so do check that out. And if you're a regular do check to see if you're subscribed. You can turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos and you can sign up to my newsletter in the description box down below where you can also pre-order my perfume. Empress that's coming out later this year and I will leave the links to where you can buy Nina Saleo where it's available. It has just come out so it won't be available everywhere. Cool, so the Nina by Nina Rishi range are these iconic apple shaped bottles. The original Nina is like a candy apple caramel with um, fruity apple top note. One of the first perfumes I ever had so I really love it. And this new one, I love that it comes in this yellow bottle. We've not had a yellow one before. They seem to have done every other color. And then these stripes on it, it's kind of like a candy striper or a, a yellow deck chair vibe, very summery. And the box has that same summer box stripey vibe as well. So I really like the branding of this. And this, it sticks true to the sort of Nina vibe of being a fruity sweet perfume. So it has a milky whipped cream sweetness to it but then that is combined with lemons and oranges and gardenia which is a very light floral so what it does is it creates kind of like a lemon sherbet or a lemon meringue type scent where it's like it's citrus but it's also got a sweetness but it's not like super sickly sweet um it's definitely interesting and as um at first you get loads of the lemon and then quickly followed by the whipped cream so it's very sweet at that point but as it settles the gardenia really comes into its own and it becomes um, really quite floral and then you've got vanilla and cedar in the base which start to show themselves a little bit as well so it does change but it's definitely pretty fun like daytime summer scent if you want that lemon refreshingness but you still want something sweet underneath it is limited edition so it's just coming out for this summer and it is an eau de toilette so it's not heavy at all and um, i find you know you're going to want to have quite a few sprays of this but it's definitely mm, it's yeah that lemoniness is quite refreshing and that lemon meringue vibe is um quite irresistible it's a little bit mouth-watering the scent um but it's definitely sort of cute and innocent as a lot of these nina rishi eau de toilettes are um a sort of it could definitely be worn by any age group definitely a safe blind buy for you know a young girl it's not a sexy grown-up sweet scent it's nothing like that it's definitely a daytime scent and um, but I think if you're a collector of bottles then this is one of the most beautiful ones they've come out with I'm loving the Nina Extra Rouge bottle as well their bottles seem to be getting better which is good I like that they're opaque I think they look really nice um, but yeah, so that's the latest from Nina Rishi for this summer. And let me know if you've tried this, what do you think of it? Which is your favorite out of all the Ninas? I know there's been like 25 or something. So let me know what your favorite has been. Um, but that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.